It's taken 50 episodes and nearly a year in game, but we are finally in a very good position to potentially go and win the Daffabet Masters. And today we could be crowned a champion. Hello there folks and welcome to part 25 of season 2 of our new Robertson Pro career on Snooker 19. And today it is an absolutely massive episode. If you haven't watched the first episode of this final, I massively recommend that you do. But, if you're just watching this one, well, the scores at the moment after the first session interval, and yes, I didn't do the traditional way of playing four frames, but after five frames, it is 4-1 to Neil Robertson, to ourselves. And we have the best chance possible, I believe, to go and win this tournament for the first time for Neil Robertson since 2012. And this would obviously be the biggest achievement by far in this career mode so far. It's took 94 episodes we were here last year. We played Mark Allen last year and lost in horrifying circumstances by six frames to five. I think this year we should go and do it. Going to be a tense episode, folks, I must admit. But that is not the best start for Mark Williams. He seems to have lost his bottle a bit, and that is a very good start to potentially get on a break here. I mean, every frame is more difficult to win than the last, and particularly a deciding frame. If we were to go and win this match, not necessarily decider, but a frame that would decide the match. It's a very tricky one to go and win. But not the best chance here. Just a red and a black, and I think we're just going to have to play into the reds. That will do it. That's okay. Mark Williams, though, I thought it would be one of those finals like the last Masters final where it went 1-1 to each. It was very cagey. But so far, it just hasn't been like that. It went 1-0 to us. Mark Williams made it 1 each. And after that, to be honest, Mark Williams has not been in the same league as us so far. But there is plenty of time to turn it around until the trophy is lifted. It can all be turned around. You know, I was only watching... Uh, a replay, not of the... Ooh, oh, well. I'll shut up. Because... Well. I like to ramble a bit during these videos. And this sort of situation is one where you don't start rambling. Mark Williams has just potted the cue ball. Potted the one red. And everybody else is astounded. Well, can you believe that? Oh. It's gutting. Try and play for black. I don't know why it asked me to sign in. I'm terrible at getting out of these snookers. Really am. But that is gutting. Mark Williams potted the red. Uh, sorry, pot. well, just potted the cue ball. I thought he'd got a point for some reason, but no, he hasn't. Right, let's try this. I'm not very good at getting out of these at all. And that is going to be not way wider than Mark, to be fair. But I think he might well get us to play this one again. Not the best shot, and of course it's the black. You know, it's a foul of seven points, but he plays on here. So I think it's to force the player to continue rather than to retake in that situation. Could be wrong, but this is a half chance. Does move the red about, which is why I'm a little bit more worried about playing that shot. If we play this red at least, I think that might be a bit of a better chance. Not quite on the red, but it doesn't matter because it was a shot to nothing anyway. And if it plays behind that yellow, that would be beautiful. But of course, on these finals, more than anything, likes, comments, etc. are really appreciated. Because ultimately, it's these episodes that the casual viewer ch turns into, uh, tunes into, turns into, tunes into. But again, another half chance here on a red. Everything just starts to become that little bit harder when you know you're within reach of a victory. And again, not the best shot. But, at least we are on a colour and that's not snookered this time. One. Has to be the yellow. No more than half a chance here. Has to be said in this frame, we've not quite got our momentum yet. And that's not going to help Close, anything at all. But not quite. Well, we've missed the yellow. Neil Robertson, one. Neither player has got into this yet, but just a safety from Mark Williams. We're going to have a go at this, I think. 
Very tricky shot coming up. We missed this. Potentially a frame opportunity for Mark. But I knew we weren't going to miss it. But actually, down hit the red. Thank God for that. If it hit the red there, that could have been massively damaging. But let's just play this ball by ball. Let's get this yellow out of the way. Let's focus on that first. Play with some good power. Get back down the table for a red. And then focus on potentially making a frame winning break. That was not ideal. Mm, just a tad. This is a very cagey start to this second session. Again, another half chance here. Not quite. But I don't think he's got the bottle to go for the red. The one that took the bulk, of course. But where's that red going? Oh, well. Just played it down the table. And that is an opportunity for us. I mean, he's given us far too many opportunities. And we just need to make sure now, more than ever, that we take this. Shouldn't go in off. Actually, if we play it at the right angle. Playing for the right corner here. Got to make sure we pop the, the red, though. That's the main thing. And it was a little bit... Oh, it didn't go in easily. And again, One. position is terrible. Just not flowing at the moment, is it? For either player. But at least we're getting the odd pot. Mark Williams, again, not really been to the table so far. That's a top shot. Well, but that's a good shot. And that might just be an opening because there are a few reds a bit further open now. But ultimately, in these finals, we always say, well, you know, the opposing player's not played very well, and that's why we've won. I mean, we haven't won yet, and I know we're getting far too ahead of ourselves. <laughs> but we've got a very good chance, especially if we go and win this frame. But ultimately, and this is where I'll rephrase things to not sound like a cocky little sod. We are in the position that we are at the moment. Again, that could change. We are in the position that we are at the moment because we have played well. Throughout the match, and I really believe that. Yes, there's been the odd, there's been the odd mistake, but we've been far better than our counterpart. Ten. I mean, he had a brilliant break in that second frame, didn't he? A one forty, I think it was now. But after that, he has been far short of anything that resembles anything like that. But the pink and the black being off the spot makes this break so much more challenging. A lot more variation in the where the cue ball is going to go ultimately because you have to play with top. If you're playing with bottom, it's very delicate to try and get it where it, where we want to. Unless it's a straight shot that we're playing, you can control the backspin quite easily then, but not so much when it's a little bit more of a, a delicate shot. I'll go for this red though. I think this might be a good one to bit of a recovery shot if you like to get some position back. Got to pot it though, and it's there. Position's still not the best. Um, the pink's not going back on its spot. That's something we've got to just live with. Um, but Tricky pop, no doubt. it's all about trying to get the black back on its spot. That's the main thing I'd say here. Because that's really preventing us staying comfortably down at the uh, bottom end of the table where all the reds are. But that's flirting dangerously close to going in off and it has. Wow. Well, well. Another twist in this sick frame. It's the first frame back, and my god, it's been dramatic. We're just ahead. But this is the perfect opportunity for Mark Williams, I really do believe that, to go and do something, but he's missed the red. Luckily doesn't leave it. Luckily for him, anyway, not for us. Luckily for him doesn't leave it. Does leave a half chance, potentially. And we'll take it on, but we've got to be very careful that we don't... Uh, Give a chance on the other red here, which we haven't, and that's just about okay. We covered ourselves. Just going for a safety on that red. That's a good ball back up to the ball cushion. Just got to be very careful of this pink here that we don't hit it. He's playing the safety here. Yep, we've just about missed the pink, but look at how much the reds have developed now. Got to get this tight and behind a ball, and that could be a little bit loose. We're just playing a safety here. And that <laughs> that hit on the brown could be very costly for Mark Williams. He's had far too many of them today. 
And this is a tricky one with a lot of power. But we need to just get where we want it. He'll be happy with that. Top shot. And finally, we are on... It depends which ball we want to take on. I don't actually think the black will go. Will it pass the green? Yeah, it will. But I think I want to get the pink back on its spot first. I think you can get to the black a little bit easier than you can the, the pink where it is now. This is a golden opportunity. The pink's there and it's back on its spot. Yeah, played it well. And to be honest, where these balls are, I don't think, unless we want to, I don't think we've got to particularly worry about getting the black back on its spot. Strike pot on the blue. I'm not going to turn that down any any time. The right corner here. Excellent shot. Good shot. Wonderful pot. Outstanding effort. I mean, Mark Williams has given us plenty of opportunities. So let's go and take this one in particular. And go and get within one frame of winning the Masters. It's not over yet. I understand that. Half a chance here. What a great Black's back on its spot. This is played back down the table. Hopefully this will pull up at some point. And that's not too bad. It's a little bit awkward at close quarters, but it's okay. But we've missed the pot. Well, ah, Mark Williams is back in. Neil Robertson. <sighs> Not quite over the winning line in the frame. And I think Mark Williams has got to take this chance now, surely. But he's not on the black. He's taking it on. He's going for the blue. Tremendous spot. And I think he can... Can he just get the red past the black? I think he can. But there's 40... Is the 50 remaining on the table? Is that right? No, there's not that... I think there could be, actually. Yeah, that sounds about right. But he's got to make a mistake or else it's 4-2. And really we've been flirting with not getting much rhythm so far. And this would be a big momentum builder, I would say. If Mark Williams won the frame, but he's missed the red. Mark Williams, 30. Well, well. That's unbelievable. Missed the red. It was a tricky one because it was up the tail. But he was willing to take that chance with this position. And we just play that as soft as possible. And all we need now, I think, let's have a look at the scores. So we're 39 ahead. No, we're 29 ahead, you plonker. 29 ahead, 35 remaining. Of course, we can take on a colour. But we've got to get on the red, really. So we will uh, take on... We'll take on the yellow, actually. Well, we'll we can just analyse our options, can't we? we? There's no rush to make a decision. If we go for this brown, which we are going to, it's going to be a delicate pot on the red. But it's a tricky position to get into, I would argue. So, so we're 33 ahead. There's 35 remaining on the table. This red, it's a tricky one. But this is a Just real opportunity. If we pot this, Mark Williams needs snookers. It looks okay. It looks okay. And it's there. Get in there. Well, another mistake from Mark Williams. And ultimately, you would have to say it would be a bit of a shock if we didn't go on and win this frame. Go for the straight pink seems to make sense. 34 ahead. There's now 27 remaining and we're 40 ahead. That was a scrappy frame and I don't know how we've come out of it, but Mark Williams seems to be a player bereft of confidence. Not getting any sort of form. I mean, his average break in this game is obviously going to be escalated so much by that big 140 break. But apart from that, he hasn't done anything today. And I would say we're lucky to win this frame. We don't really deserve it after how we've played. But Mark Williams, again, has missed shots. So, at the end of the day, you've just got to be better than your opponent sometimes. Whoever pots the balls. I know it sounds ridiculous and it sounds so silly to say. But whoever pots the balls wins the frame, and ultimately Mark Williams couldn't. And it's been a scrappy one, but we have. And so, we are now one frame away 
from being the Masters champion. And obviously that comes with its own pressures because the final frame is always the most tricky to win. It's the biggest tournament of this career mode so far. Massively is. Really is for us. And uh, for us to go and win this tournament would be well, nothing short of huge. Really think it'd be a momentum builder. Play the pink. Get the backspin back on the black. And if we get the black, at least we can say we've cleared up. It's a nice tap on the black. And with a break of 40-odd, whatever it was. It doesn't matter what the break was, but it wasn't a close frame. And then there we go. 39 was the break. It wasn't a close frame in the end. Mark Williams did not play well at all. And it is now 5-1. And if Mark Williams wants any chance of winning that Masters trophy, he needs to get a move on and get sourced in this match. But that is not the worst, worst break in the world. That is a good start to the frame. Play a lot we have in the last six frames. I think we've had four good frames at least, anyway. Play like we have. And hopefully we get a little bit of luck that gives the framer an opportunity and we can go and win this match. Obviously the frames can tick down very quickly if you make a mistake and the other player gets in. But that's a terrible mistake from Mark Williams. I don't think he's considered position whatsoever there. It's a real shock. We're going to play it risky here. Well, he's taking the red on. Because I don't think soft will do anything here. But we've opened up the reds. And that's better. If we'd applied that soft, we'd have been awkward on the black. But what's that What's that done now? That has uh, made a yeah, bulk ball a little bit tight. In fact, very tight. But if we can get one, gives us a good opportunity to get on the reds. Brown's there. Is this the start of the frame winning break? I don't want to jinx anything. I don't want to say anything just yet. Let's just keep our focus. We'll take that. Unfortunately, I don't think the black goes because of that red. But there's a pink if that doesn't go. Oh, no, the black does go. That's a nice surprise. But position's not great, so I think we will play the pink. That position's not great with the pink either, is it really? It's tricky, whatever we do. I think we're going to go for the blue. Prolific long potter he is, so I'd assume he'd take this on. Well, not this time. Just a little bit off on that blue. We rarely miss those, but at least there isn't much of an opportunity here for Mark. Wasn't the best position we got ourselves into. He's flirted, giving us a half chance here. And I think we're going to go for it. And it's there. Oh, we're not bad at those tight pots. And funnily enough, the blue is going to be a nice, easy tap in here. But it all just depends what we can get onto on the... In terms of all balls on the table. So I think we might have to just go for the yellow here. And it's there. It's not ideal position. It's going to have to be a little bit of a cutback on this red unless anything else goes. And this one does go, but, I mean, it's only a half chance, but I do fancy it. Not an easy one, but a half chance. Well fancied there. <laughs> Good pot. It brings the red a little bit further up the table, so we've got a little bit more flexibility now. Any trouble is that blue uh, won't go because it's been blocked by the the green unfortunately just trying to get this a little bit better positioned and it hasn't really worked and where's that cue ball going oh well we haven't gone in off all game and we've done it twice now in the last two frames just trying to be delicate and it hasn't worked we haven't played anywhere near as well 
in my opinion. Oh, well, that's gutting since uh, we came back to the tail. But Mark Williams can't string anything together either. But that could be a good red. No, not quite. And where's the cue ball going? Well, Mark Williams. This should just be the call. Did just good. They're definitely gonna be words out. This should just be called the in-off final. Well, he's playing on here. Absolutely unbelievable. In reflection, we were playing that off two cushions, weren't we? We should have played that a lot harder. And he's got quite an easy frame chance now. The one by the pink spot, or equally that one, I suppose. And he's potted it. We've given him a chance. We've given him far too many chances, I believe. And you just have to say that surely at one point, he's the world number he's the world number four, is he, on the game? Yes, he is. Surely he's going to take a chance at some point, you would think. The pressure is getting to me definitely a little bit. It's a massive game. The magnitude of these frames is huge. And we've got such a good chance that you don't have that every day. But Mark Williams will still fight. He's a player bereft of confidence, but a good break, as I've said, at any point would definitely help him. And in my opinion, I'd say you'll probably go and win this frame now. Worrying times for Mark Williams here. Well, Mark Williams, David Ender doesn't usually talk much sense, but that was a time where he does because, Pace. as he has said, yeah. really, it is worrying times for Mark Williams. He's in bad form, really in bad oh. form. He can't string any sort of break together. I mean, he's lost his bottle, to be honest. Now we're not playing brilliantly, but... I have to say, I think he's lost his bottle, unfortunately for him. Just get the red moving a little bit. Try and develop something. Pink's on the green spot now. So I don't know where the green will go unless it goes back on the green. Oh, that is unbelievable. If we hadn't have had the touch on that pink, we'd have been okay. But we're now snookered. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? And we've got out of it, but, you know, he's got an easy pot on. That is unbelievable. That is heartbreaking look, and if that was in a decider... I think I would just go and cry. One. <laughs> that is unbelievable. If you want an opportunity to win a frame, Mark, for goodness sake, you've got to take this one. You're not going to get a bigger opportunity than this now. Reds are all there, ready and waiting for you. It's 26 ahead. This will put him 33 ahead. There'll be 51 remaining after this. So he needs two red, uh, two reds. Is that right? No, just the one red actually in a colour. He's attempting to sink this into the left corner pot. No, shut up. 15. That'll put him thirty-four ahead. This puts him forty-one ahead. So one more pot, one more red will do it for Mark Williams. But he's not in the best position, knowing what he's done so far. Oh, so close. Well, 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 well. Mark Williams. Could you, Adam and Eve? I mean, look at where that red is for a kickoff. I'm going to try something here. It's not going to work, I don't think, but it's well worth a go. I want to concede a foul. It's just going to be tap, 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 tap all day now. But that hasn't worked, so I wanted it to. Tight pot. And he's got it. One. Well, he missed the red. You could argue he got a little bit lucky with the fact that it was wedged between the pink and the green. But Mark Williams does deserve a frame at some point. Ultimately, neither of us have played very well, so we've come back to the table in these two frames. So I think to be one each in this session is more than fair.
But we need to be on the ball because every frame counts. And even though we are 5-2 up at the moment, and that seems like a good advantage to have, it can all come crushing down so quickly. And if Mark Williams gets into his stride, you know, a 4-0 from here doesn't seem so unrealistic. But we've got to believe that he can't do that by playing our best and winning one frame. That's all we need now. But a good break here from Mark Williams. Break of 38 with the black. And for the first time since that second frame, he has won a frame. He stopped the rot. And he's back in this. For our sake, I hope that's a temporary thing. But let's see how he does. Will this final open itself up? Or is that just a temporary spanner in the works? We'll find out. Keep tuned in. That was thick. He's hit the yellow. That's a half chance. This is tough. And it's the... Oh, well. Spoke too soon. And that hit on the green is not going to help things at all. I do believe that you ought to still play with the same aggression you would... He lost control of the cue ball there. Careless. Well, we're back. We were interrupted, which reminds me never to record a final on a Sunday morning. Because I do regularly get interrupted. But you saw the last shot. I've just seen it. Mark Williams gone in off again. This is an opportunity. Got to place at the right pace to miss the reds. Good pot. That was unbelievable. Gone in off again. Again, this should be called the in off final. But unfortunately, there isn't really much we can develop here. So back up to bulk might be the best thing to do. Should try and get. Uh, by the green. Not going to be able to get behind the green, obviously, but we'll see how we get on here. It's took my momentum away a little bit, that has. Unfortunately, that phone call, but we should be okay. <laughs> not again. Oh, thank God, not again. But after that, another good chance for us here. Not quite enough, but he hit the blue, and again. Mark Williams has just not been good enough today. That being said, these are trickier pots than you might think, especially when you've got the pressure of uh, trying to get on the black on. But that's a good pot. That's too much, though. That is way too much. But can we get on the pink? Yes. We Oh, can we? Just. I think the pink's just on. And really, after that, I think it'll just have to be a safety. That's a loose shot. It is loose, but there's not too much we can do at the moment. And if we get it behind these balls, that might not be too bad at all. Come on, keep coming, keep coming. That's nice. Neil Robertson just blocks most of the reds out, forcing to play a... Shot on those reds, but surprisingly plays it quite thick anyway. And thank God for that kiss on the yellow, because I think he might well have gone in off again. But again, another opportunity, another starter. Just haven't been able to have the main course yet, have we, at all. And again, that's careless. Weak shot there. So what are we going to do? Just play it behind the brown. This is very unorthodox stuff, I appreciate that. He's managed to snooker. Let's see what happens here. Very bizarre frame. It's been very bizarre since we've come back, really. Got out of it. And to be fair, I wasn't too far off getting a pot there. But couldn't quite get it. I don't care if this frame takes half an hour of just potting the odd red. As long as we win it, I'm not that bothered. The history books will just say who's won. And the checkbooks will uh, say we've got 200 grand. So that's what I'm bothered about in game. 
let's just make sure we can get on something there. Let's uh, let's make this a good bright. Let's make it tangible. Every ball is one closer to the winning line. Nine. And this is tight at the moment because we just haven't quite got the comfortability at the moment of being comfortably in the balls. But stay around the black and that's not the worst strategy in the world. 16. We're looking okay here. We've got to have a solution a second to break open the reds, but at the moment, I'm okay with how we are. Twenty-four. When we played that Scottish Open final one, I don't think I'd ever have this sort of confidence around the black. That's something we've definitely developed over the last few episodes. Twenty-five. I mean, granted, it's been 50 episodes since then, but you know what I mean. And this is the big shot. Hmm. Maybe not this time. I think that red goes. You have to check, though, especially when the magnitude of this frame is so much. Got to play it at the right pace. It's not quite straight, but... I'm happy with that. He's lining this one up to the middle pocket. Whew. Some head scratching going on here, believe me. We've just got to play our natural game. We've done it, done it so many times throughout this Masters. But that red, I'm glad I checked, will not go. Hello there, Mark. So... This is a risky one. Now I'm aware that the pink will go back on its spot, so we've got to take that into the count. And hopefully, I mean, no, it's just too much of a risk. It's far too much of a risk. Let's get the black and see what happens from there. Unfortunately, missed the reds altogether, but there's a half chance on the red. If we'd have potted the pink, it'd been blocked. 40. But there's a half chance on this red. This is no gimmick. The and the red's there, and look at the chance that it's opened up. Depends where this ball sits, though. Where's it going to sit? 41. We're okay. Pace is key. We're getting close now to the winning line. We are getting close to the winning line. Every pot is huge. Five more reds to go. We don't need all of those to win this frame at the moment, of course. Just the red required. You know, I'm going to take a minute here. You know when you're going through all these tournaments, all the heartbreak of going out and not winning finals, and when it's one that has been fairly straightforward, not faced much of a challenge from Mark Williams, and this is the biggest shot, doesn't feel real. Damn. And the red's there. It's not over yet. The black will prevent him from coming back to the table. And ladies and gentlemen, we are <laughs> the Masters champion. I do not, I, you do not know how good it sounds to say that. It sounds absolutely fantastic.
Well, let's focus on playing our game because it's not all over yet because bigger twists and turns have happened in the past. 63. I mean, it's, it's not exactly the trickiest, the easiest chance to get on any of these, so. This is no gimmick. Pink's there. Unfortunately, I think the pink will block this red, won't it? It will, so we're going to have to play a bit of a double. It's probably going to be the last shot of the match. Or a triple, maybe. Not quite there, but he's not coming back to the table now. After some really tough, hard frames, he's not coming back. And we are the Masters champion. Get in there. Come on. We've done it. We have done it, ladies and gents. Get in there. Come on. We lift the trophy aloft. We hold the trophy aloft, even. If that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does. It's took 94 episodes, but finally we have won a Triple Crown event. 6-2 against Mark Williams. What a result. £200,000 in the bank. And it's been a poor season so far. We've struggled. But these invitational events always let us back in. And if you wanted a confidence booster, there isn't a bigger one than winning the Masters Trophy. Congratulations, the Masters Trophy has been won on hard difficulty as well. 2021 champion Mark, uh, Neil Robertson. Mark Williams, no surprise, gets the high break award. That would have probably been us if it wasn't for that break in the second frame. And we win a black and white bow tie, black and white waistcoat and a black shirt. And we, ladies and gentlemen, are... The champion of the Daffabet Masters. There you go. Champion Neil Robertson 2021. That is absolutely excellent. £800,000 is now our career earnings. But the most important thing is... There it is. The Masters. Only on two star. Is that because of the aiming aid? Yes, it's because of the aiming aid. Right. Okay. So we'll just uh, go through the cycle of some of these tournaments. The Championship League. Again, I'm not really fussed about playing in it. But next up, it is the German Masters. This is a ranking event. We have qualified for it. So let's see who we're going to take on in the first round. And it's Jimmy Robertson in the... Well, it's Robertson against Robertson. That's going to be entertaining. In the first round of the German Masters, and a ranking event coming off the back of winning the Daffabet Masters. We go into a ranking event, the German Masters, and that will be coming in a, f a few days. It is the round of uh, last 32, so we'll be playing in this, of course. But we are... The champion of the Daffabet Masters. Complete finalist. I mean, again, it's been pretty abysmal the rest of the year. But we have something to say for this season. In the trophy cabinet, we now have the Masters. How many tournaments left of the season? We've got the German Masters, the Grand Prix. So we've got three, the Shootout, Players' Championship. We've got a potential nine tournaments left of the season. I think we can go and win a few more off the back of that. Thank you very much for your company throughout the Masters. We'll be back in a few days for the start of the German Masters. What a journey that was. We have won the Masters, our second event, second championship that we've won in this game. But it doesn't really compare ever to the Scottish Open, does it? Let's be honest. But that was awesome. I really think that does deserve a like. If you guys think so too, make sure to leave one down below. Comment your thoughts down below and subscribe for regular Snooker 19 content. That is it from me today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Get in there!